What's up guys and welcome back to another F1 2016 preview video. Today I'm going to showcase the pure gameplay in this video. We're going to race around Russia in Sebastian Vettel's Ferrari and um, we're just going to have a really good look at what the AI are like and it's going to be in the ultimate uh, difficulty as well. There were some complaints yesterday about the AI and even from myself as well so um, you guys suggested to put it on the ultimate difficulty and see how they handle. So what I did is I've jumped straight into this race uh, straight in the morning, you know, no practice or anything. I thought it would be a good idea to do this while I'm not up to speed or anything like that so that I am weak and so that I'm able to be overtaken by the AI to see just what happens and um, yeah it'll be a really good test for both myself and the AI and also for you guys to see the pure gameplay on the ultimate difficulty no assists on the PC as well leave a like if you enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel if you're new to see plenty more F1 2016 uh, videos right throughout the next few weeks and I'm going to be doing um, the career mode part number three later today. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys at the end of the video. Well, hello and welcome to a very special race here today. We have some marvelous machines down on the grid that in just a few moments will be accelerating up to some really high speeds indeed to compete for a prestigious Grand Prix victory. Built on the shores of the Black Sea, the Sochi Autodrome is a 3.6 mile tour around some of the venues built for the 2014 Winter Olympic Games. Close barriers may make overtakes more challenging, but with 56% of the lap taken absolutely flat out, we certainly won't be wanting for pure speed. A fitting arena then to do battle at the pinnacle of motorsport. I'm joined again today by none other than Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, Obviously, there's a lot of development work that goes on with these cars between the races. You've been both a test driver and a race driver. What differences are there in the way you approach those roles? Interesting question, Crofty. They're two very different mindsets. I mean, when I tested for BAR, we had full in-season testing where, per driver, you'd cover up to 15,000 kilometers per season. And in that role, it was more about working for the team, trying to help them improve the car and drive as systematically as you could so that that data could be analysed in the most consistent way. When you're lining up on the grid for a race, however, your frame of mind's all about what you can get out of the situation on that day, and the car's the tool to help you achieve what you want. You still want to focus on setup, of course, but it's more about the here and now, getting yourself as far up the field as possible, and less about development work for the future. You should have some space going into the first corner, so try to keep it tidy. Well then, after an exciting qualifying session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and Nico Rosberg completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Ricardo, Max Verstappen, and Raikkonen, Massa, Grosjean, Bottas, and Nico Hülkenberg, Alonso, Kvyat, Carlos Sainz, and Perez, Palmer, Button, Marcus Ericsson, and Esteban Gutierrez, Magnussen, and Verline, Felipe Nasser, and Rio Harianto completes the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Some information on Hulkenberg. They've got a 
day today. A great win then for the Mercedes team today. Anthony, what do you think made the difference here? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. Well, I'm thoroughly exhausted after the excitement of that race, but I'm sure it's nothing compared to our drivers here. They've worked hard to make it up there, and it's great to see them make their way out onto the podium. So there we go guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video and it was a good showcase to show like what the AI are like on the ultimate difficulty. After seeing that footage, after racing them myself, I feel a lot more confident in the way that the AI behaved, especially in this video compared to yesterday's career mode video. However, the, the AI needs to be more racy on all difficulties, not just the hardest difficulty because people who are slightly slower still want to have a really good battle with the AI too. So that's something for, for Codemasters to take on board. But um, just a few things that uh, really did encourage me over the course of that video was um, I ran wide at one point when I was um, on the second lap, I believe, and I just kept the throttle in and tried to turn the corner and I, I lost grip on the AstroTurf, which was really good to see because it's going to uh, eliminate those who try and take advantage of abusing the track limits or something, or if they make a mistake, they're going to lose grip. They're going to potentially almost spin out like I did. I was lucky that I had Grosjean on my inside to kind of rest on there. So yeah, it's, uh, it's good to see that the off-track parts of these circuits have um, significantly less grip than uh, what the actual tarmac does. So good job there, Cody's. And then again, um, just a few corners later, I was uh, side by side with Grosjean, I believe. Um, I tried to pass him up the inside. You'll see on the footage here, uh, Grosjean was uh, slightly better under brakes and then he turned across me. He cut me off and that was really good because in yesterday's video, the AI would not have done that. So that's very encouraging to see that they will you know, race hard and not just give up at the first sign of hardship. So that's been this video for today, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to see plenty more F1 2016 videos. And also let me know what you made of this video down in the comment section down below. Also, probably a shout out to, uh, probably a, a worthy tip for you guys is to not jump on the game on the hardest difficulty when you haven't put any practice laps in. That's a, that's, that's a tip right there from me. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on this video if you, did, if you enjoyed. That'll really help me out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.